example for our ethics and values were tested was with a customer who made a purchase and she wasn't happy with the product. We may or may not have a restocking fee depending on how unique the product is, which we let the customer know up front. We said, no problem, we pick it up. And uh, when we go do the refund, she says, no, nobody told me about the restocking fee. So I personally take the time and call the customer and say, look, we really want to make you happy. You know, it is our policy, but over a few hundred dollars, we're not going to lose you as a customer. We'll go ahead and waive it, and we hope that next time you need some furniture, you come back. Business is not black and white. People are not rigid that way, and our customer service team needs to be able to have some flexibility because the most important thing is to leave the customer happy. Well, a lot of our values come from my mother. She's a driving force in our company, and I think the main reason why we were able to grow her biggest asset, I think, is being fearless. It's one of the hardest things as an entrepreneur to really walk off that ledge and say, we're going to do it because if you're going to wait for that perfect opportunity, it's never going to be there. You have to just go for it. So I think that's where our value started. And then we recently applied a lot of individual values as far as being honest and forming good communication with the customers and your team members. But one important one that I like a lot is having fun too. So we want to make sure people are having fun when they're at work and it's just not a boring job that they don't want to be at. And the last one was being humble, because as you start to be successful, you have to remember that you have to keep getting better. You have to keep looking at what's coming up.